All right, so uh, we have Gemini, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well a rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading, guys, for the period February February 10th to uh, February 16th, 2020. And in case any of you is interested into uh, getting a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website as well a link to your other video of the week which is going to be focused on business and career so that being said moving into the spread straight away here for a love and relationship for you guys we do have the ace of swords which is the very topic of the week followed by the next one here which stands as the seven of swords for what it seems which stands as the as the energies <clears throat> Uh, that are supporting the topic furthermore what we do have it is the uh, challenges that you need to stand against here uh, that is going to be the nine of swords followed by the next one which is the four of swords here of the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week followed by how other people are gonna look at you what kind of impression you're gonna leave into the people around your suitor you know your person of interest your husband or a wife beloved one etc etc that is to be the queen of wands and the last one it is the guidance that tarot is offering we do have another sword card and that will be the knight of swords so that will be uh, quite of an intense one. Oh my god so what we have it is that something is gonna have is gonna draw the last straw here it's just is gonna be the last straw and um it's like you are you know you 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 you're just not gonna stand it anymore in the way that the things are you are gonna want to have an answers for one or another reason i'd simply you know things need to take a turn and that turn this time around will have to suit you better than the previous turn take part and it's just probably you didn't get what you wanted but that's not going to be the case this time around gemini now seven of wands here as the energy points that you are going to grow increasingly self-righteousness in a sense that you are going to start showing more and more strong backbone and you're going to step for your rights into upcoming relationship into uh interactions that you do have you know or into a current relationship as well demanding to be heard demanding to be attended properly demanding to um, actually uh, being given the attention you require so in other words uh, you are going to distaste the current situation and instead of humbly giving asylum treatment this time around you're gonna storm that situation it's just you will not gonna want to have any of it anymore and that will lead to the topic itself which is the ace of swords and in term of love and relationship the ace of swords represents those honest conversations in term of how things are standing right now it is it is you can say it that it will be the, the painful truth will be spilled of how you are standing currently what you want and it's, it's pretty much you are describing the accurate diagnosis for yourself of the situation situation how it stands uh, what you want for example and as well what you uh, need to happen in order the things to proceed forward in between you and your suitor person of interest or a husband or a wife now the important thing with the ace of swords and uh, with the correlation to the seven of swords here is that uh, how can i say it is the strength of spirit and also the mental uh, uh, the mental strength that you're going to show which is going to be fed up by the uh, by the third card that we do have and this will be the challenges that you need to stand against here uh, that will be the nine of swords but before we go to the nine of swords ace of swords uh, as a, a topic as well it's about um, cutting it to the chase all right it's it's not like bullshitting around anymore with empty promises and with uh, fallacious dreams as well how everything is gonna be okay it's more like a either you are agreed with my, with my terms or you are not with me whatsoever it's it's just stands 
like this and once again that is to be provoked because up until this moment probably you have faced you know a, a situations that have not been ideal for you and it simply was not what you have imagined simply was not what you have signed for and that cannot be any longer so once again while this can be a bit painful for you and for your uh, person of interest or for you and your suitor or for yourself as well because if you are completely single then these cards it is about recognizing the painful truth to yourself you know why you can't have anybody around or why you don't have a person who is showing interest towards you and uh, therefore this is going to provoke some a uh, brave actions it's like you know the the the, the final resort the, the final means that you are going to resort to in order to um, improve your circumstances. And these are the challenges that you need to stand against here with the Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords, it does depend what kind of a situation you're finding yourself at. Um, if you are completely single, then the Nine of Swords, it's like a... Uh, understanding the consequences of your actions okay that probably you are going to turn people against you in favor of yourself that is that this time around you're going to show character you're going to show that you are not going to allow people to uh, mess around with you and you're going to show that you are a force to be reckoned with which once again is going to repose certain people from your social circle or even it may repose a, a potential suitor or a, a potential person of interest but you are once again going to uh, understand here or identify for yourself that these things are very needed so you can attract the right one to come around and if you are in a relationship the nine of swords represents the fear of breaking that relationship once you make the necessary moves in order to fight for your standing in order to fight for your righteousness or in other words when you spill everything out it is because it's so so right this reading here does not guarantee that you are going to travel or kind of like leave to the sunset happily ever after it just shows that from now on everything is to be clear it is like you have to take it that way that you are going to lay everything you got all the cards in your hand on the table and the final hand is going to be dealt here and uh, whoever wins wins okay you if you recuperate relationship from it at least you're gonna now know how you stand uh, and you're gonna have your demands fulfilled but if the other side does not want to fulfill your demands well then obviously things cannot happen cannot move from now on but you have to overcome that is to be the challenge you have to overcome that fear of uh, being left alone especially if that is a relationship does not work that doesn't work for you for example you're in an abusive relationship you have to overcome that fear of what happens after you actually make your stand because otherwise you're going to be abused for god knows how, how long all right so next one here it is uh, the um, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy and that is to be the four of swords now first of all four of swords points that once you lay down all of your cards or in other words you spill the stone out uh, you are going to be faced with quite of understanding from the other side okay they will want to see your points of view right and actually the conversations that you're going to have also the uh, these cards here the ace of swords and the seven of swords um prerequisites uh, kind of like an, an aggression the four of swords which is the gift diminishes the aggression almost to zero so you can expect those calm and deeply meaningful conversations to happen in between you and your suitor in between you and your uh, person of interest uh, or your beloved one and etc etc and the other gift and blessing that you can expect here that to happens throughout the week it is that old um, points of conflict that you had or you have in, um, with these people they will not going to be a subject of discussion here uh, this the subject of discussion is going to be the future past mistakes they are going to be left in the past so you can expect that problems that are uh, appearing or making cracks or kind of like uh, digging wounds into the relationship is going to be excluded from uh, from those um, from those conversations so you don't have to try to think of how you're gonna slip from a thing that you have done uh, 
uh, back in the days and uh, the other card here it is how people are going to take on you and that is a, a very very important card here Gemini this is to be the queen of wands and that is how your suitor is going to see you this is how your um, you know your person of interest as well or your beloved one and etc etc once you lay down your cards and they're going to see you as a, well first of all they're going to see you as a, someone who has um who is simply far ahead than them i don't know how to say it it's not like you have nothing to lose here but it is more like that if you lose it you can definitely replace it with something better so uh, what impression you are gonna leave into these people is that actually they are the one who have something to lose it isn't you and also they are gonna see you as a uh, uh, in a very different shade and in a very different light because everybody uh, it, it, it's it, it's straving toward the Queen of Wands because the Queen of Wands is this attraction it's the center of the <clears throat> excuse me it's the center of the universe it is the uh, it is the pinnacle that everybody wants to be around and this is how people are going to see you but they are also going to see you as a, a very fearsome enemy as well and someone that does not uh, it's just you know you, you don't have to mess up with okay uh, from one standpoint as well, people may see you a bit jealous, but that, is, but that are your uh, competitors. These are to be your enemies as well, but they are going, going to be afraid to approach you or to taunt you or to simply put a, an opposition to you, at least for throughout this week. Because once again, the Queen of Wands, it is a, a force to be reckoned with. But if I have to summarize how people are going to take on you and how people are going to see you, that card says only one word desire all right this is how people are going to see you desire here and that is quite understandable because they are going to understand what they are to lose if they don't kind of pick themselves together and the last one it is the guidance that tarot is offering now uh, in term of love and relationship now this is going to be the knight of swords and uh, knight of swords tells us only one thing here which is that whatever decision you are to make at the end okay either you make it or break it it doesn't really matter for you that is because even if you break it with the queen of uh, wands it does look like and with the four of swords it does look like that you are going to replace it with something better but whatever decision you are to make at the end here once you lay down your cards once everything is said in between you two you know how you stand you know how the person in front of you stands as well what are your expectations and etc etc that decision needs to be simultaneously logical meaning that you know you don't have to go against your uh, your thoughts but also that logic needs to be consulted with your emotions so you don't have to you should not do what you don't want to do and uh, there will be a remarkable synergy here in between your emotions and in between your thoughts but that synergy once again can only be achieved if you speak out loud for everything that bothers you for everything that you do like and how you stand what you want and how you see yourself in the future in this relationship or without it so that being said, Gemini, this was your uh, weekly love and relationship tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you are interested into a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website as well as, a, as a, a link to your other video of the week, which is business and career oriented. And hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.